hey what's up guys i'm lan here welcome back to a new video on my channel in this video i'm going to talk about ios 16.2 beta 1 on my iphone 10 r as you can see from the screenshot the update came in about 4.85 gb on my iphone 10 r and in general this update is of large size so especially whenever you are going from you know stable series of updates to beta as i showed in the previous video that i have installed ios 16.1 rc so rc is a part of stable series of updates and whenever you go from stable series of updates to beta it will be a huge install because operating system itself has to be reinstalled properly so in this case it came in about 4.85 gb if you have a different device than iphone 10r the update will be different for you so in this video let's talk about what are the new features and what are the new changes that we can expect with ios 16.2 beta 1 so make sure you watch this video till the end but before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of video on this channel do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel now with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys so the first things first let me go to the settings general and about section if you look at the ios version it says ios 16.2 and if i tap on it so as you can see the new build number is 20c5032e so this is the new build number and uh, initially the first things first if I click on the software update I noticed a change so if you actually you know, try to check for the updates as you can see it says the iOS is up to date but the font is in different format as you can see everything is now in bold so we are moving towards you know bolder formats i believe so that's the first change so previously it was not like that it was not bold but you know apple has decided to change the font in like this so now let's talk about whether do we have a modem firmware update or not yes we do for other iphones the modem firmware number will be different but for iphone 10r i had captured a screenshot let me see whether i can find that or not so as you can see before updating the modem firmware was 5.01.01 and after updating as i can show you the modem firmware is 5.01.00 now for those of you guys who comment in the video that you know i am on ios 16 point one without watching the video they just straight away comment how did you get this update so for them i always tell you that if i go to this general and vpn and device management let me just go there as you can see there's a separate software profile that is installed on my iphone which is ios 16 beta software profile and as you can see it's a profile verified from apple so if you're on stable series of updates this update is not for you you will not get this update unless and until you have a beta software profile that means i use 16 beta software profile installed on your iphone so keep in mind that and if you have this software profile installed then what you need to do you need to go to those you know general and then software updates check for the software updates after ios 16.1 rc this is the first update you can get for ios 16.2 now let's talk about some of the new changes and features what you know ios 16.2 beta 1 has to offer there are not much changes but the biggest change as you can see from the home screen there's a new app called freeform so freeform is an application or you can say it's a tool it's a collaboration tool wherein multiple people if their iCloud accounts are synced they can you know actively and jointly collaborate and can work on a project as you can see this is basically you know if you have an ipad and if you're typing something or if you're making a presentation and you want other people to be a part of the same presentation and want their inputs as well on the same presentation so you can uh, generally do everything here so uh, you know it's it's basically a drawing tool kind of a thing you can enter some text and if you want you have this pencil kind of a thing so if you want you can draw everything you can erase and you know whatever you like and after that you can actually sync that to your other devices now for this to work properly what you have to do you have to go to the settings and this icloud option once you go to this icloud option you know there is a section which says apps using icloud so you need to click on this show all and you know by default this free form option will be disabled so for application to work properly you have to enable that once this is enabled this will be synced to your other devices so if i just click on share as of now it's not working properly this is a buggy and this is the first version of the free form as you can see it says try again later and document has sync not synced yet 
so you know it is uh, quite buggy as of now it is not working properly but in the future with ios 16.2 follow up betas it will actually work better so this is the biggest change from ios 16.1 to ios 16.2 so this is the biggest change i could find with ios 16.2 beta 1 apart from that there are uh, you know changes here and there as well and also i wanted to show you uh, this is the first splash screen when i opened the free form for the first time i got this splash screen so it says clearly welcome to free form and some of the features are mentioned like get creative build your board and collaboration with others so you can build different boards as many as you like and can you know share and work together with others apart from that uh, we all know this uh, with ios 16.1 live activities is back but we you know with ios 16.1 if you go to here in the tv application if you are using apple tv application then live activity option was removed from there now with ios 16.2 beta 1 again it is back i am right now in the settings under tv application and if i come down as you can see this live activities option is back although at the moment it is not showing anything but in the future uh, probably the episodes or the games that you may like you would be able to sort of you know actively monitor those through live activities that means if you're watching a game you would like to keep an eye on the scores then you can do that from the notification itself apart from that i did not you know see any new uh, changes and features and talking about the performance performance is good there's no issue with the performance this is an iphone 10r an older device is four years old iphone running 812 and if I uh, show you the Geekbench scores as well, as you can see, the single core score came in about 1077 and the multi-core score came in about 2373. So that's the Geekbench score for iPhone XR on iOS 16.2 Beta 1. And the single core score is little bit less than iOS 16.1 RC. Now, if I go to the settings and let me quickly uh, go to this battery section and battery health and charging, as you can see here still clean energy section or clean energy charging option is still not available but if you look at the battery health it is still at 88 percent that means uh, you know after updating the battery health has not dropped at all and talking about the uh, you know battery life i don't use this actively but i've started using this uh, more often than not so i'll talk about the battery life and the performance in the follow-up review of ios 16.2 beta 1 so make sure you are subscribed to the channel and during the weekend when i post Post a video about iOS 16.2 beta 1 you can actually relate to the performance and battery life also for your reference i have here opened the ios 16.2 release notes it says there are some issues with free form it is at its early stage so expect some issues here and there and also there are you know some resolved issues apple has worked on and fixed with ios 16.2 beta 1 so then again that's it for this video i just wanted to let you know that we have received ios 16.2 beta 1 update so this is is a large update if you're having any devices probably iphone 11 12 or 13 or 14 whatever device it is so the update will be you know around between 4.5 to 6 gb so that's would be the expected update size let me know in the comment section whether you have updated or if you're on beta series and trying out the new features and if you ask me whether you should update to iOS 16.2 beta 1 i would suggest it's it's just an early beta if you are on ios 16.1 and have been facing some issues with ios uh, you know previous updates i would at least recommend not to update your device to ios 16.2 beta 1 because you know there would be some bugs here and there so stay on ios 16.1 and later on when the beta gets stabilizes i will update you through a video and then if you want you can update to ios 16.2 so then again that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed the video give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel and i will see you on my next video bye bye